My name is Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Welcome to our channel. Look at this. Is this the start of pepper season 2024? I don't know. We're close, though. We're really close. So um, I had a great morning. Um, Zach Perkins is a really good friend of mine. He's a sauce maker. He owns uh, High Desert Sauce Co. And uh, I had a great time this morning working with him in the kitchen. It was so much fun. We had a good time. <clears throat> um, and he gave me this beautiful jalapeno. There's a little corking on it. If you look carefully, you can see some cor little bits of corking on it. Now it's starting to turn red. This is a funny thing. A lot of people don't realize this. But jalapenos, when they're mature, are red. So this was a more kind of going, kind of becoming mature. Um, it's a beautiful pepper. It's one of my favorite peppers in the world. Um, I'm going to cut this thing open. We're going to look at it, and then I'm going to eat this thing. It's such a pretty pepper. Here's the funny thing about the jalapeno. And it's interesting that it's ironic that it's really the uh, the starter pepper for so many people. And it's a hot pepper. If you've never eaten anything hot, it'll set your head on fire. Um, using my neck knife I got from my girl Brie. It's from Grim Frost. For the Viking in you. <clears throat> because there is a Viking. I'm part Viking. I got to be. Anyway, so uh, it's ironic that it's the pepper that m so many people start out with, yet it's also the sneakiest pepper. <clears throat> Legend has it that one out of every ten or so is going to be a rogue jalapeno, and it's going to be hotter than the others. And I'm just here to tell you that that phenomenon is a real thing. Here's, I'm going to show you half at a time. Look at the beauty in that. Isn't that just gorgeous? See the red changing on the lower half. This one, you can see it's even more dramatic. The inside wall is turning out. If you look on this side, it's sort of, but you can really see it there. It's really, really starting to change. Oh, it just smells so good. It's a thick walled pepper. The thing that's great about a jalapeno is it's very versatile. I mean, you can just snack on them if you're at that, at that point. But there's so many things you can do with, with jalapenos. You can stuff jalapeno poppers. and Anyhow, Zach, my brother, thank you for this pepper. Is this the first pepper of pepper season 2024? Could be. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Beautiful jalapeno flavor, kind of that grassy touch of sweetness to it. Now we talk about the rogue jalapenos. Would you believe it if this, if I told you this is the hottest jalapeno I've ever tasted? It's not. I wouldn't lie to you. But it's spicy and it's delicious. Another really wonderful thing about the jalapeno is that the jalapeno very, very readily available. The other thing that's great about jalapeno is it's super, super stable. Sometimes you get super hot, so they're not as stable. You'll get one that tastes one way one day and tastes totally different the next, or two pods from the same plant. A jalapeno 
always tastes like a jalapeno. Pretty much how it works. Um, we're going to wrap this up now. Please like and subscribe. Comment on this video. Um, there's a like button. Gently tickle it. Not hard because, you know, if you, it's like a cat. If you tickle it, tickle it, or a person, you tickle them too much and it's no fun, just tickle it a little, little bit. Tickle that like button. Share this video around. Was that the first pepper of pepper season 2024? In the description box, you're going to see, see a link for Zach Perkins. Uh, high Desert Sauce Company, since he gave me that pepper. Thank you, Zach. Who's going to eat a pepper with me this year? Right there is my son. Right there is my brother. Right there are all the challenges I've done. Right there is pepperology for all the ones who are going to do it this year with me. Who is it? Is it going to be you this year? Let me know. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.